Hey everyone, get ready for a wild ride because have I got a fascinating Bigfoot encounter to share with you. This story takes place way back in the heavily wooded wilderness of Clearfield County, Pennsylvania. Our witness is a nine-year-old boy who lived with his family in a remote house, the only one for miles on their side of the highway. It all started on a late August afternoon. The young boy was sitting on the upper deck of their house, enjoying some quality time with his loyal dog. Suddenly, the dog began growling intensely and bounded down the steps towards the lower field. At the same time, the family's horses came racing up to their barn, whinnying in terror as if something had given them the fright of their lives. The boy's eyes darted around, trying to make sense of the chaos, when he spotted something out of the corner of his eye. There, in the lower field, about 100 to 200 yards away, was a large, dark figure running on two legs. The creature's chest was absolutely massive, and its powerful shoulders rippled with each stride. The boy only caught a glimpse, but it was enough to send a chill down his spine. Without a second thought, he let out a piercing scream that brought his parents and older sister rushing out of the house. The poor kid was so scared he could barely speak, his lips turning blue as he tried to hide behind his dad and point towards the field. By the time he managed to stammer out what he had seen, the creature had vanished into thin air. It's clear that this Bigfoot was up to something, possibly chasing the horses for its own amusement. The boy's parents had their own tales to tell. The family often enjoyed swimming and fishing in a nearby stream about half a mile from their house. On several occasions, they were startled by severe crashing and thrashing sounds coming from the brush directly across the water. The boy's mom, who was present during most of these incidents, described it as one of the most terrifying sounds she had ever heard. We're talking about very large limbs and small trees being snapped like twigs and the undergrowth being violently thrashed about. It's almost as if the Bigfoot was trying to intimidate the family or assert its dominance over the territory. The noises were so unnerving that the family always packed up and left, not wanting to stick around and find out what was causing the commotion. Even the family dog seemed to be attuned to the Bigfoot's presence. The boy's dad shared an intriguing story about one of their fearless canines, a lab and German shepherd mix weighing around 85 pounds. This dog was a force to be reckoned with, known for bravely roaming the hills and getting into scraps with various animals. It had even taken down a deer and regularly hunted groundhogs. One day the dog took off into the forest and the dad went to bring him back home, thinking he might have gotten stuck in a groundhog hole. When he finally caught up to the dog, he found him completely focused on something deeper in the woods, ears perked up and alert. Despite his usual bravado, the dog wasn't chasing after whatever had caught his attention. It was as if he sensed something powerful and potentially dangerous lurking just out of sight. Throughout this entire ordeal, the family kept their experiences mostly to themselves. They were the only ones living on that side of the highway for about five miles, and although they had neighbors a mile away on the other side, they never brought up the subject. Can you blame them? It's not exactly easy to casually drop, hey, I think we might have a Bigfoot problem, into conversation. Fast forward to the winter following the boys' sighting. The boy's mother was heading to work one afternoon around 3 p.m. when a heavy snowfall left her car stuck at the end of their long driveway. As she was digging herself out, she noticed a man walking down a nearby logging service road. At first, she didn't give it much thought. After all, she was preoccupied with freeing her car and getting to work on time. But then she realized how odd it was for someone to be out walking in such heavy snow. The man walked a short distance, then sat down in the snow and appeared to be digging for something. The more she thought about it, the stranger it seemed. 
The figure was wearing what looked like a dark, heavy overcoat and had an unusual gait, not quite human-like. It wasn't until years later that she considered the possibility that this mysterious man could have been a Bigfoot. So, what are we to make of all these bizarre occurrences? It's clear that this Bigfoot had taken a keen interest in the family, from chasing their horses to putting on a noisy display in the woods, and even boldly venturing out in the snow. This creature seemed determined to make its presence known.